Hello students, this is Jay Science Sub. Today we are going to study about energy. Energy is the ability to do work. So think about a day, from the time you wake up to the time you go back to sleep. How many activities or how many works you are performing? For example, you are locomoting yourself from one place to another. You are moving your body parts as well as you are talking, right? So all these activities need energy. These are all considered as physical activities. Not only physical activities but also the biochemical reactions which take place inside your body need energy. For example, the digestion, respiration, all these metabolic activities need energy to perform. So now the question is arise. How you receive the energy needed to perform these physical activities as well as metabolic activities. Food we consume act as a fuel to generate energy needed to perform all these activities. You all have a question why solar energy is considered as a main source of energy. The energy of sun is generated by nuclear reactions. So there are two types of energy comes from sun. One is light energy, another one is heat energy. If I ask a question, can you produce the food? Some of you may say yes, because you thought you can cultivate the crops as well as you can prepare some delicious food. But we humans are animals, right? So animals are heterotrophic. Heterotrophic means we can't produce our own food. We directly or indirectly based on producers for our food. In our terrestrial environment, plant is considered as a main producer. Plants are the organisms which are autotropic, especially they consider as a photoautotropic. So what makes the plant differ from animal? Plant cell contain a special organelle called chloroplast in their cell, which is lack in the animal cell. This chloroplast is responsible for food production. Inside the chloroplast, there are green color pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll have a tendency to absorb the solar energy. Okay, so solar energy is absorbed by plant for the production of food. So solar energy is the energy source used by plant to produce its food. So this process of producing the food which take place in plant is known as photosynthesis. We can separate this term into two words photo and synthesis. Photo means light, synthesis means production. So the production of food which take place in the presence of light is known as photosynthesis. Raw material for the photosynthesis are carbon dioxide and water. Definitely chlorophyll will be present in plant. Other than this, solar energy is used as an energy source. So from this you can understand, solar energy is essential for the existence of life on earth because it serves the food for all the organism. So solar energy is considered as a primary source of energy. You may have a question, what are energy sources? Energy sources are the sources from which we obtain the energy. These sources help us to generate energy which is needed to perform our day-to-day -day activities. Right? There are many energy sources we are commonly used in our day-to-day -day activities. For example, sun, biomass, fossil fuel, wind, tidal energy, energy stored in water, Geothermal energy, sea waves, and nuclear energy are some of them. Okay, most of you have a confusion between biomass and fossil fuel. So let's compare the difference between biomass and fossil fuel. Biomass and fossil fuel both are originated from a same source that are organic material. Organic substances are made up of mainly carbon, other than that, hydrogen, oxygen nitrogen and other elements can be present. In brief, we can consider plant and animal bodies, their body parts as well as their waste materials can be considered as organic materials. So these organic materials are the main source for the formation of biomass as well as fossil fuel. If they both originate from the same source, then what makes them different? Biomass can be a plant or animal material which can be used as fuel. These biomass we are immediately or instantly we are using the organic material as the energy source. For example, you find a big trunk of tree. So you cut it into pieces and you use it as a firewood. Here you instantly cut that wood 
into pieces and use it as a firewood to generate huge energy right so this can be considered as a biomass but when considering the fossil fuel the organic materials are buried under earth for a long period of time it can be millions of years under high pressure and temperature then only these organic substances are converted into fossil fuel in our day to day life we are using different forms of fossil fuel for example petrol diesel kerosene and etc these fossil fuels are considered as a hydrocarbon as they are made from hydrogen and carbon so what do you think about biomass as well as fossil fuel which energy is stored in them solar energy is the stored energy in fossil fuel as well as biomass hope you understand why we consider solar energy as the main source of energy and the difference between fossil fuel and biomass the next video will explain you how we can generate the electricity from different sources of energy like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to j science sub for more videos related to science